to a town in Samaria called Sychar, near the plot of ground Jacob had given his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, tired as he was from his journey, sat down by the well. It was about the sixth hour when a Samaritan woman came to draw water, and Jesus said to her, Will you give me a drink? His disciples had gone to the town to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, You are a Jew and I am a Samaritan woman. How can you ask me for a drink? For Jews do not associate with Samaritans. If you knew the gift of God and who it is that asks you for a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where can you get this living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as did also his sons and his flock and herd? Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give him will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Sir, Give me this water so that I won't get thirsty and have to keep coming here to draw water. Go call your husband and come back. I have no husband. You are right when you say you have no husband. The fact is, you have had five husbands and the man you have now is not your husband. What you have said is quite true. Sir, I can see that you are a prophet. Our fathers worshipped on the mountain, but you Jews claim that place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Believe me, woman, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Your Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we know. For salvation is from the Jews, yet a time is coming and has now come when the worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For they are the kind of worshippers the Father seeks. God is spirit, and his worshippers must worship in spirit and in truth. I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will explain everything to us. I who speak to you am he. Just then, his disciples returned and were surprised to find him talking to a woman. But no one asked, what do you want or why are you talking to her? Come see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be Christ? Many of the Samaritans from that town believed him because of the woman's testimony. So when the Samaritans came to him, they urged him to stay with them. And he did for two days. And because of his words, many more became believers. And they said to the woman, Everything I've ever done. We no longer believe just because you have said. Now, we've heard for ourselves. And we know that this man really is the savior of the world. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.